welcome to the Kerrang podcast. It's day six of the Kerrang tour, and we're here in Cardiff. And I'm with Liam Bowen, who's been queuing since five a.m. this morning. How are you doing? Uh, a bit tired, like getting there. Yeah, I can imagine. We're, we're slowly but surely, time's ticking, and we're nearly in, in the arena. Well, I am. But <laughs> yeah. So, what time did you have to get up to get here for five a.m.? I didn't go to sleep because I got the bus at two in the morning, so it's not really weird going to sleep. <laughs> nice. No, so you've not slept at all. I had a, about twenty minutes on the bench outside. About one o'clock. So. <laughs> and what have you been doing all day to kind of keep yourself busy and pass the time? Try, trying to meet band members, uh, just mixing, just having fun, yeah. just exploring. It's one of the few venues you're allowed in before the doors are open because it's obviously a student union, mm. so you can just have a good lesson around. Oh, that's handy. So what bands have you met today? Uh, I've met Barry Tomorrow, which was surreal. Uh, lots of Weirdy in crowd. Met Don Brocco and I've got an amazing group with them because I won Crown's Twitter comp. Yeah. Um, and I met young guns as well, which was cool. So pretty much everyone. So what did you do to win the competition? What was uh, your entry? We had to tweet a picture of us with our ticket. Mm -hmm. So I photoshopped me onto a Velociraptor and then photoshopped that into a mosh pit. Well, I didn't do it. I yeah. came up with the idea and my friend, my next door neighbour, did it for me. And we sort of got there in the end and won. Nice. So Congratulations thank on that. Thank you very much. Um, and who are you most looking forward to seeing today? Uh, Barry Tomorrow, really. Yeah. I really like that one. Good British band, and they've just got the uh, uh, John Lennon for Pearson. Yeah, excellent. And then obviously you were interviewed this morning for a newspaper. Yeah. How was that? It's a bit weird. I just sent a tweet while I was in Costa having a coffee, and then I was sat on a bench waiting to see if anyone else showed up, and someone was like, "Drop me an interview, have a few photos taken, and we'll try and get you some credit for doing this." And I was like, "Yeah." Do you know how they found out about you? Yeah, because I tweeted. I sent a tweet like, being here two hours, cost is finally open. And then they thought that was cool and coming to spam me, so. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Crown wouldn't get hold of me. So you've gone a bit viral today. Gone a bit viral, yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> well, everyone's like, you've been here since five, and I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so. Excellent. And would you say you're maybe the biggest Crown fan in the world? Yeah, I'd like to. One of? <laughs> One of, yeah. Walls are covered. Ceilings covered in posters. Yeah. Every week, college, nine o'clock on a Wednesday. Get in and buy a crime donut. Excellent. Well, to congratulate you on being the biggest crime fan, at least here today, we've got your donut pizza. That's awesome. To keep you going. So enjoy. And enjoy the show. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Lovely to meet you. You too. Thanks.